So the race was so good, y'all. Like, I just wanted to share a little bit of um, some tips with y'all about how I made it through 13.1 miles nonstop, not even to take one single break. Let me tell y'all how I did this, okay? Listen, running a half marathon and going to Mexico in the same week, do not recommend, okay? So let's start off by taking a quick step back to the day where me and Alex went to go pick up our race packets. It was so much fun, y'all. It was over on Roosevelt in the like little shopping center area. And so they had this like storefront pop up where you could just go in, register, you could get all of your race day gear and also some memorabilia items and paraphernalia, that sort of thing. It was also a great opportunity to kind of meet up with some other runners there. So it was really, really cool. Everyone was very nice and friendly, which was super important for me because this was my first half marathon. So I was really nervous and didn't really know what to expect, but everyone just really explained everything really well, walked me through it, and I felt right at home, right? I felt like I was supposed to be there. Girl, they had a DJ, so you know, I was dancing and everything, but we picked up all of our stuff. I got my t-shirt and all of that. And then they were selling, like I said, some paraphernalia and everything. So I went ahead and bought me a hoodie too, which I cannot wait to wear. Hey guys, you're watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. And as you can tell by the title, this video is about prepping for things, okay? I am prepping for a half marathon that's happening tomorrow. And I'm also prepping for a vacation to Mexico. It's a birthday trip for Anthony. <laughs> so a lot of prepping going on in this video. I'm absolutely nuts for squeezing all of this into a two week time frame. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but in true Bond fashion, we just gonna get it done. So I'm looking a whole mess like, oh my God, I've been training for about five weeks leading up to this point. There are people who have trained for much longer, so kudos to them, because it is a lot of commitment and discipline required to prepare for something like this, but I'm really excited about it. A little bit nervous, a little bit scared. I don't even know why. I don't know why. I was talking to my sister yesterday about it, and I'm like, I don't, I'm not afraid of the run or thinking I won't be able to do it, because even if I'm not able to do it, it's like, oh well, you know? I think I'm more afraid of like, there being so many people that I'm gonna have to be socializing with. I think I'm more afraid of that part, because it was hundreds of people in this race, but anyway. So yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I've been doing a lot of shopping, ordering things online. I've been back and forth to the mall recently, buying things, not liking them, taking them back. You know, the whole vacay prep shuffle that I've kind of been doing. Not as much as the last couple of vacations though. Anywho, so Annie Berg was with me all day today and she is pooped. She's very tired, she needs to lay down, but she won't. So we're getting a lot of the whining and all that kind of stuff. And she's hiding underneath the table right there. So, oh, and it's gonna be okay. Um, Turn on the light. So yeah, the race is gonna be really early in the morning. So I gotta get in the bed on time tonight, which is one of my weaknesses. I never get on in the bed on time, it's just not who I am, I'm just a, a night owl. You know, a lot of times I take advantage of the evening because that's like my me time. So I really can't do that tonight. I really have to go to bed. Anthony's at work, of course. Um, so I'm kind of all alone with Ann trying to figure all this out. But let me show y'all. Bought Ann a bunch of stuff from H&M. And then we went to Target. <laughs> Got some stuff and uh, Nordstrom Rack, so a bunch of stuff. But let me show y'all what I got for this run. I got a couple run hacks. Can y'all see me? Okay, so the first hack is this. <laughs> right, these little tubes, these little three ounce tubes. The reason I got these is because I have a preference in the type of pre-workout that I use, the type of energy booster. I got a bunch of recommendations from people about different um, energy gels and stuff like that, but I went ahead and ran three miles today. That was the last the last run I'm doing before the race. And I tried the gels because I, you know, you're supposed to try it out before you, you know, before race day. And I am so glad I did because I ain't get no energy from that. It didn't work on me, right? So let me show y'all the um, pre-workout that I like to use. Um, so it's these two right here. You can get these from Target, I believe. I know that for sure that's why I got this one. So it's the C4 Silucor original pre-workout. Cherry limeade flavor, you know, gives you the explosiveness that you need. <laughs> because yeah, this pre-workout will have you levitating, okay? So I figured I'd bring these two little tubes, fill them up with the pre-workout, add water, shake, 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 and I'll be able to take one right before we start, and I'll be able to take another one as I lose my gas, you know what I'm saying? This pre-workout is supposed to be effective for, I think, 45 minutes. 
so it's actually perfect. I'll just take the second shot 45 minutes in and then that should be about halfway for me. I also got these protein cookie dough um, sniggity snacks and I'm probably gonna bring a couple of them with me just in case, but I'm definitely gonna eat one right before we start running because what I found is that the type of person that I am, I have to eat. I have to have something on my stomach. I know some people like to run like on an empty stomach, but I can't do that. I have to have some proteins and some, uh, you know, certain minerals and vitamins for my body to have something to do because otherwise it'll start working on my will to keep going, okay? So I need to give it something to do. So speaking of all this stuff that I'm running with, uh, I went ahead and got a fanny pack <laughs> to strap on me so I can put this stuff in. I did not want to bring this. I'm usually the one that doesn't want to run with anything, but this type of distance is new for me. So I really feel like I need um, a little storage container, a little kangaroo pouch, uh, just to bring along some extra stuff. But I'm the girl that's putting everything in my sports bra. Okay, well, we're not doing that this time. We're gonna be a little bit more prepared, a little bit more classy than that, okay? So those are all the things that I bought new for the race. I'm gonna show you guys my race gear. And then we gonna go ahead and get into bed because I gotta get my rest, okay? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's really, really difficult trying to prepare myself physically, mentally, and all of my supplies and things while um, you know caregiving with Anne. It's really, really tough right now because I'm like all by myself and I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Mm. I'm feeling like I'm not gonna get the rest that I need. I'm feeling like I'm gonna have too many responsibilities to really. Um, you know, look after myself the way that I need to to make sure I don't forget anything and stuff like that. So I'm feeling a little bit of stressed in real time, right? In this moment, I'm feeling a little stressed, but I'm gonna try to get Ann to go to bed early tonight um, so that I can tend to me, make sure I have everything. Like I gotta do laundry and stuff because my favorite hat needs to be washed. Then I gotta feed Sansa, make sure she goes out and takes care of her business and all that. So it's kind of a lot. I didn't anticipate um, being this busy on the day before the race, but I mean, it is what it is. Somebody's trying to hide under my shirt. Um, Y'all, mom life is kicking in hard today. Uh, another thing I was doing today was getting my playlist together. Okay. There's a very specific playlist that I need for this half marathon. It's got a lot to do with my sister Michi's favorite songs. It's got a lot to do with the the type of music that gets me moving. Y'all already know what type of music that is. I don't even need to say it. That kind of thing. So I'm getting my playlist going and ready to roll. So far I have one hour and 25 minutes worth of music on there. I'm gonna have to add at least another hour of music because I'm anticipating it's gonna take me at least two and a half hours um, to get through the run. I mean. And ideally, I would get through with it a lot quicker, but I don't want to like over promise and under deliver for myself. So we'll, we will just see. We'll see how it goes. But I just want to make sure I have enough music to get me through it. And I'm dedicating each mile to certain people in my life just to give me that extra push of motivation. And so you already know mile 13 is going to be dedicated to Michi because that's what's going to get me through that final really, really difficult push. And then I got other people in mind for all of the other miles. Basically, I'm going through all this trouble because I trust this stuff because I've trained with this. So I feel like this is, you know, a smart choice. I don't want to do the five hour energy and all that because I don't know anything about that stuff because I didn't train with it. So I got to I got to go with what I know. So this is the equivalent to about one scoop, which is um, the amount I would take in one serving, you know, mix it with the water and then shake it up. And then, you know, that'll be my one serving. For the second serving, since I'm all out of this one, I'm just gonna use this um, six star pre-workout, which is another one that I've been trained with. I'm not gonna add the water right now because it seems a little premature, but I'm gonna do it in the morning. Just add the water and then shake it up and then it'll be ready for me to take it. Extra one for my sister just in case. <laughs> Sansa's freaking out because the landscaper's right there. <laughs> She's freaking out big time. And I've been drinking so much water. I did good with the water too. Uh, I haven't gotten to quite a gallon today, so I'm not gonna go to bed until I get to a gallon. And then tomorrow I won't have to hydrate as much right before the race. I'll just kind of hydrate as we go. 
<sighs> I'm just sharing all of this with you guys as part of my experience not trying to position this as the way to go or the way to do it this is just how I'm doing it and then you guys will see like how all of this works out for me in the end of course but if anyone is planning on doing a race like this I just kind of want to give you guys some visibility on kind of what's all involved in preparing for something like this because it is a major physical feat and if you're not an athlete this is something that could be potentially um, really difficult for you um you know trying to hurry and get in shape for something when you've not been like conditioning for it like long term like like an athlete you know what i'm saying so i'm just sharing this in case it's inspirational for someone or if people are just curious so yeah i broke a nail just now <laughs> um so i'm gonna have to take them all off i can't be out here like that um oh you love mommy you love mommy so yeah, I asked you guys on Instagram to give me advice if you had done a half marathon before. And a bunch of people gave me advice. I read through all of it. I loved it. Thank y'all so much. I was just surprised no one advised me to stretch before uh, the run and also during the run. I was really surprised no one said stretching. Cause that's what I, one of the things I've been really focusing on is stretching because what I noticed is that I wasn't utilizing my lower extremities um, to its full potential. I just feel like there were certain movements that I wasn't Mine. able to really do well yeah. because I just didn't have the flexibility. And so ever since I've started like intentionally stretching like every day, not even before I work out, just doing it just as a part of my morning routine, I found that I have more mobility in my lower body and I'm able to perform exercises a lot more effectively Baby. and with the proper form. Baby. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta wait because you gotta lock out of the iPad. You got locked out because you put in the wrong code. So we gotta wait two minutes. We gotta wait, mommy. Come on, let's go. We gotta wait. Come on. We have to wait a few minutes, okay? You little rascal, you. Two rascals. It's time for me to eat. I'm like, why do I have this headache? Um, because you haven't eaten. I did prep some meals and I'm happy about that. It makes my life so much easier, oh my gosh. So I ended up prepping them similar to how I did it last time, y'all. I cooked the chicken first and then I went to bed and then I cooked the sides um, the next day. So we got some roasted carrots, sauteed broccoli and some quinoa. And that's a chicken thigh. Okay, well that's cooking. <laughs> I'm just gonna be waiting. <laughs> okay, time to share. All my stuff laid out. This is how ready I am, y'all. So this is what I'm wearing tomorrow. The official Bank of America Chicago Half Marathon t-shirt. Y'all, all this stuff is Nike, right? Nike sponsored all of this. So we got the official dry fit tees. So these are gonna be awesome. I also am going to wear these dry fit shorts, I think. I'm still not sure yet if I wanna wear these or my runner's leggings. We have all this, you know, Bank of America gear. They also gave us these kind of like, I don't know, bandana type things. So I'm probably gonna just wear this around my neck or something just to like absorb some sweat. Wet. And then we got these little pins. Of course, my official tag. So I'm out of the C Corral, and this is my number. <laughs> I went ahead and purchased this Nike hoodie because they had it. It's so cute. I like that it says Shy on there. So it's the official gear for the half marathon. I just like the Shy on there. So I got that. But yeah, so this is my little layout. Y'all, I'm so excited. <laughs> I got all this on me. <laughs> like, <laughs> you got layers on. Oh, this is us. Okay, cool. Hey, let's go. Let's go. You know what? <laughs> oh, we're the last ones over here. Damn. Huh? Hi. Hi, ladies. Good morning. 
I'm feeling like you're gonna be great. Ooh, we're gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah. But also, let's not. <laughs> hey, baby's first half. Come on, let's go. Yes. Oh, I don't got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Toast to Monty. <laughs> Remember that? You guys say what's up to my YouTube subscribers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we're looking right here. And our three are going to cheers, right? Ready, one. Two, three, two, three. Hey. That was real organic. Let's do one more without beers. Okay, in case we get that push back. It's always like, you got that shot without beers? We got it. Yep. Hey, I just want to, yeah, just, just soul sisters, all right? All right, three, look at each other, and then look at, look at the kids. So one, two, three, and you're looking, give me a smile. You can play with that hat if you want. All right, ready? Looking at each other. One, two, three, looking here. Yeah, love that. One more time, let's have fun with it. Yeah. One, two, three, looking right here. Hey, oh, love that. Not us yeah, getting our commercial on. We're real like, we out here at JV Studios, Chi-Town. We got Vaughn, Alex, Ricky, yes, sir. and the cameraman. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm giving him self props. Right, take care. Thank you. Take it easy. Oh, y'all came. Oh, Wes, how sweet. Get on there. Get on there. <laughs> you definitely be lying to my making my way, bro. I know. We went into the like, like, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. I was about to drop my medal. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back at home. What a day. What a day. I feel so amazing. Let me chat with y'all. I'm getting my bath ready because I'm about to soak, honey. Come on, light. That transition, walking from my room into the bathroom, the light always does me dirty. Um, so I'm about to take a bath, y'all. I got my necessaire, my little loofah. It's about to feel so nice. I gotta soak, y'all. Let me show y'all my hair. <laughs> take off my little hat. So this is my hair I did for cornrows. My hair, y'all, it is so tangled and nappy feeling and um, just unruly in a mug. It's, it's dry. So I had to just try to do something. Um, I had no choice really but to break it down in sections because it was just too much to put in a ponytail even. But anywho, let me turn my water off. Like I'm so excited about this bath. I'm about to like candles. Listen, I deserve the whole thing. So the brace was so good, y'all. Like I just wanted to share a little bit of um, some tips with y'all about how I made it through 13.1 miles nonstop, not even to 
take one single break. Let me tell y'all how I did this, okay? Oh, let me sit down because my knees are humming. <laughs> That's why I can't wait for this bath. Um, so I had a little knee pain that had started when I did my 10 mile, um, when I was training and I did the 10 miles, which was pretty much six days ago. My, my right knee on the outside, I don't know what muscle that's called, but it was like a little bit achy. And then I got through the entire race with no issues with it. And then right at the end, it started to ache a little bit. It was tender, but then it started to ache. And then I was experiencing a little bit of pain in my ankle. But here's the thing, y'all. Before I started the race, I took an ibuprofen um, just for anti-inflammatory and just in case any aching somewhere was going to happen because I, I have a tendonitis tendency in my lower body, namely the knees. And um, I'm like, well, let me just take a, you know, ibuprofen before I even start. And that way I can like at least get through the race. And that worked, y'all. I'm so glad I did that. At the end of the race, my sister had some pain and she was wishing that she had done it. The other thing I did, y'all, is when I took my little C4, y'all saw me mixing up. That, that was the key. That was the majorest key of all the keys, okay? I took one right at the start because the duration for performance is about 45 minutes. And so when I hit the 45, 50, whatever, actually I went longer than 45. I think I was about uh, maybe a mile 10. I took the second dose, right? Um, and I drank half the bottle because I just wanted to make sure I wasn't ODing or anything. And then I ran another two miles and then I drank the second half. Y'all, though that timing was so perfect. I'm so glad it worked out. I had energy the entire run or the majority of the run. And I wasn't like, I didn't feel like I was depleting my energy reserves or anything like that. So I still had some, something left at the end to socialize, walk around, you know, stretch and do like a cool down. But the race was rough. Uh, I, I, I blitzed through the first three miles. I know you guys say in your advice not to do that. But for me, I feel like I was equipped to do that i was only running like maybe nine at a pace of like 9 46 or something like that so not super fast not as fast as my last 5k and i felt fine i figured after you know two minutes of running if i felt like i couldn't do it i would just stop but i never felt it and even when i got to the three mile mark i was expecting to rest and walk and then come back i didn't have to rest i y'all i never stopped i ran the entire 13.1 every time they offered water i made it my business to grab um, a cup or two at every single water station. I wasn't gonna miss any opportunities for hydration, but I did not have to stop y'all. I continued running because when I even thought I was gonna stop and I kind of hesitated, I could feel the achiness and I'm like, nope, because if I get too, if I stop for too long, the, the achiness will overcome me and I won't be able to start back. So I did not want to stop, but I got my second wind uh, probably at mile eight. Well, like mile seven and a half. And then I started to feel a little bit defeated. You know how it is, you get fatigued. And then I got my third wind um, at mile 10. So that last three miles, I was able to do it. And it was way, it was less difficult than I had imagined. I really thought the last three was going to be really, really challenging and it was not that bad. The last half mile, however, <laughs> was the longest half mile of my life. Cause you can see the finish, right? It was like a little loop and I could see it like, you know, right there, but I knew I had to go forward in order to come back that way. And I could see it and I'm like, oh, we're running away from the finish and I'm looking at it. So that was doing like a psychological number on me. But I made it through y'all and I think I sprinted probably the last point one. I just went ahead and sprinted it uh, just because that's where I was like emotionally, you know, and it was so great. Everyone was cheering, even through the, throughout the race, like people cheering, it was just so good. It was so good. It was. It felt great to run past other runners. It felt great to catch up to the um, earlier corrals, right? Because I was in corral C because I was very moderate about how I estimated my performance. So I said I would do like 10 minute, 30 second miles. My average pace at the end ended up being 9.55. I was in the C corral. And as I was running, I caught up to the Bs. I didn't catch up with the A's. The A's were elites, right? They were doing five and six minute miles. I wasn't even gonna try that. But I definitely caught up to the Bs and we all finished together, so yeah. But anyway, um, y'all, this was just an amazing experience. I'm so glad we did this. I would recommend it if you feel physically fit enough and mentally uh, capable. I would definitely recommend doing a half marathon. Y'all, I can't say I would do a whole, so there's that. But I would definitely do but I would definitely do another half and I would recommend you guys do it too if you can, right? If you can. And I appreciate y'all coming along and um, cheering me on, offering me great advice that worked. And um, just like being supportive and even watching this video. I appreciate y'all so much.
<laughs> All right, bath time. Woo! Girl, do you see me? I am on the move, honey. <laughs> we are a couple days post-race and I am just now checking in with y'all. Listen, running a half marathon and going to Mexico in the same week, do not recommend, okay? So yeah, as you can see, I got little mommy with me. Look at Ann Berger. Ann, say hi. It's a YouTube kids morning, okay? So I'm on my way to drop her off at therapy. Y'all, it is critical, okay? I'm about two days post uh, half marathon and I'm about, you know, 42 hours away from a flight to Mexico, right? Um, for Anthony's birthday, I think I was mentioning that earlier in the vlog. It's just been so many days in between. I don't even remember what I said or did not say. So if I'm repeating myself, pardon me so yeah i'm dropping ann off and then i'm hitting the ground running y'all got so many errands to run i got so much to do i went shopping got all these orders and stuff you know how i do before a trip so i want to show y'all some of the um outfits and things that i ordered we could probably do like a little try on thing but here's the thing okay let's talk about um the aftermath of this half marathon okay so i am extremely sore y'all like my body is still talking to me um mostly well, pretty much all lower body. So it's my knees, it's my thighs. Um, and that's really it, it's just like my knees and my thighs, whatever muscle that is on the front of the thigh, okay? That thing is humming. So I am still recovering. I haven't gone back to the gym yet, but I do intend to go tomorrow morning because I don't wanna get too stiff. But still no regrets, you know I'm still like on my race high a couple more nails popped off i'm out here real dirty um i'm gonna get my nails done today uh i need to run to the beauty supply uh for my hair i'm keeping it simple because you know uh tulum is hot okay so i don't want to do anything time consuming with my hair i don't want to um put a whole lot of effort into it knowing that the weather is probably going to beat it up a little bit so i'm gonna keep it real simple but i do need to run and get some supplies i've just been kind of sleeping with the heating pad taking my little salt soaking baths and just kind of um remedying my pain the old-fashioned way so you know i can't complain too too much hey hey already talking low mumu is on a business call i'm at her building i'm just popping over here really quick this is a part of my errands today i'm just helping her tighten everything up because this weekend like i mentioned we're going to mexico but this is also the weekend that mumu is moving so i'm trying to help her secure movers a cleaning lady and um, we need to get uh, storage solutions into these closets because it's kind of hard to move in when you don't have any place to put stuff. So I'm just doing some measuring today. So this is a little bit of housework bond today. I got my uh, measuring tape. I'm just gonna measure her closets and make recommendations for um, storage solutions off Amazon Prime. <laughs> everything which is who's gonna install hers too using the same movers okay um, in case you guys are wondering the best movers in Chicago are gonna be all seasons movers I'll put their information below I'm telling y'all the most affordable most efficient most reliable most um, considerate moving company I've ever experienced and I've moved quite a bit in the city of Chicago and there's no one better. Sis is upstairs on a phone call, being all CMO about it. <laughs> um, so when she gets done with that, she'll join us down here. Damn. Damn. Hey y'all. We <laughs> back at it. <laughs> okay, we done. Headed on to the next errand for the day. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Let's go. <laughs> greetings, greetings. It's the next day. 
well, yes, the next day I'm still running plenty of errands here. Let me prop you guys up. Let me prop y'all up. Come on, little trusty, rusty tripod. Okay, I'm putting y'all on the tripod because it's just easier. So what am I doing, you ask? <laughs> um, today is the day before we leave for our trip, okay? And I went to go get my nails done. Got them cut really, really short. These are the color nails that never show up right on the, the camera here. They never show up. They always look way more plain, but this is like a tangerine, like a coral. This is my favorite, like traveling to a warm place type of color. So, um, but it's still also really neutral. It blends in with um, brown skin tones very nicely. So I really love this as a neutral for um, brown skin. Anywho, I just ran errands and I got some more to run, but I stopped by home to get me some food. Uh oh, I hate when stuff like that happens. Ugh. Okay, so I stopped back by home so I could get me some food. I had some leftover chicken and quinoa in the fridge. So I was so excited to see that. Because sometimes when you're running errands, you're tempted to just eat whatever's out. Chick-fil-A, you know, McDonald's, whoever. And that's just not aligned with my fitness goals. <laughs> so I went by the mall to get Anthony a present. Well, actually, I went by the mall to get my wedding rings cleaned. And um, I found out that my diamonds need to be tightened. So. I need to go back to my jeweler where I have it under warranty and get it fixed. I wasn't gonna pay these people to do it, but they did clean it for me for free, so that was great. While I was there, y'all, I have to admit, maybe I'm bogus, I don't know, but while I was there, I was like, I need to get Anthony a present <laughs> for his birthday, right? Um, we're going on this trip, but I need to get him something like specifically just for him. So I picked him up something from the jewelry store, so I'm just wrapping it. I decided to go with black and gold. So I got some gold metallic wrapping paper that I usually use for the holiday and some black ribbon, y'all look at this. And then I found this black one, so I'm gonna wrap it so it's gonna be like black and gold. What guy does not want to present this black and gold? You know? So I'm just gonna wrap this really quick and then I gotta shoot out of here and pick up Ann. Anthony dropped Santa off at the kennel today. She's going back to the pet hotel, that's her spot. My mom is keeping Ann for us. And I didn't want to ask her to keep Sansa also. Like, that's the other thing. My mom loves Sansa, but my mom also has a tendency to get overwhelmed really quickly. And, you know, it's just not a good vibe if she's, you know, feeling overwhelmed while trying to care for everyone. So I decided, we decided to just have Sansa go to the pet hotel for the weekend. I hate when we have to take her there, but it's fine. So let me show y'all what I'm doing here. Okay, and if you watch my next vlog, which will be a vlog of our time in Mexico, you'll see exactly what I bought him. Let's hear some guesses though in the comments. What do y'all think I got him? <laughs> what kind of guy do you think Anthony is? What kind of gift do you think I got him? Okay, and then y'all, a hack, right? A DIY hack? Keep your scrap. Roll those bad babies up because I can't tell you how many times I've had like a little tiny gift that I needed to wrap. And I just had either, you know, I just had this big old roll like this, but if you have a small piece that you kept from before, it's, it's probably gonna be the perfect size. So I'm wrapping his gift upside down so that the logoed part of the packaging is facing up when he opens it. So this is the top. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I got this ribbon here. I'm trying to hurry and do this since I'm all alone here. This is the perfect time to do this. Cause I don't want Anthony to see this and I also don't want my mom to see it. Because if my mom sees it, it's just like Anthony saw it. <laughs> if you catch my drift, okay? So I'm just gonna use this black ribbon. Oh, it's not that much of it. Okay, well I'll have to be very careful with it. I told y'all I'm not good at tying bows. I told y'all that in my last vlog when I was making that gift basket for my sister. I'm not good at tying bows, so I love a good hack. If you're not good at tying bows, you probably are very familiar with using stuff like this. However, 
when you just throw something like this just on a present, it looks um, cheap, you know, it looks like you really didn't, it doesn't look professionally wrapped and it doesn't need to, right? But here's a way to make it look like it is. So I don't know, I'm just gonna freestyle here. I think I'm just gonna tie this in a knot. So I'm just gonna tie it so that it stays. As you can see, that's not the prettiest bow you've ever seen in your life. So um, let me just make the ribbon a little bit more uniform here if I can. Something like that. And then look, look y'all. So see how kind of funky it looks? You take this, you throw that right in the middle. Now suddenly, suddenly it looks like a better wrapped gift. Am I lying? Is it, is it, is it just me or does that not look? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> so let me put all this stuff up so no one suspects a thing. And then I'll be packing this in my luggage. All right, let me finish my food, girl, because I gotta go pick up Ann. Why is it raining so bad today? It's storming, it's pouring down. The bottom fell out, it's going crazy out there. Hey guys, just popping in. I wanted to share with y'all some new stuff that I got for Ann. I thought it would be interesting to share. Maybe give you some ideas on some things you can get for your little ones. So let's get started. So the first thing that I wanna share with you guys is of course from H&M. This is one of my favorite places to shop for my daughter because everything is so stylish and affordable and trendy. And it's super cute for little girls and boys and it's not all like graphics and all that stuff. Sometimes I don't like all the cartoon characters and everything, just something real simple. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is is this um, hair accessory that I got her. I thought this would be so cute to wear with her little locks and things when she wants her hair to be tied up because she usually does. It's just a white linen material attached to a scrunchie. Really, really cute, y'all. So hard to capture white on this camera, but anyway, really, really cute. So I can't wait for her to wear that. <laughs> Next, I got her this jumper set, right? It comes with like sort of the coveralls, but it's a skirt. How fun is that? Y'all, I went shopping for Ann because her and I are taking a trip coming up really soon, visiting my paternal grandpa. Um, he is my last living grandparent and we need to go visit him. And so me and Ann are gonna be going. So I want her to have some little, cute little new things to wear um, as we travel. And so that jumper comes with this t-shirt. It's a very soft material. It's like an off, it's like a cream color. And it says, um, hello. Super cute, that's gonna be so cute on her with the jumper to match. I got her this tank top from Target, actually. So in this bag, it's not just H&M stuff, it's a little bit of Target in there too. So okay, yeah, <laughs> this particular tank top came from Target. Cute little peachy color, corally. It's got the little sun on there. I like these kind of colors on her. So really, really cool Cat and Jack brand. And then what is this, y'all? All jumbled around in here, okay. So I got her this cute short set, y'all. This is so, so fun. This is probably one of my favorites. And it's like a really light pastel pink and it's got the pineapples, it's got the lemon, it's got banana, strawberry, all that stuff. Girl, Anne loves fruits, which is so perfect. And then the top is um, slightly cropped, not too, too much. Y'all know Anne doesn't like anything cropped. She doesn't like cropped pants. She doesn't like crop tops. Things have to come all the way down. Um, so it's just slightly cropped, so it'll just come below her navel. And it has a cute little tie in the front. It buttons up and it has a little bit of elastic around the back. So it's gonna stay pretty good like up on her. I don't have to worry about it falling down because Anne is really tiny up top. So I think this is really, really cute. Can't wait for her to wear this. This came from, where did we get this girl? Oh, this was from H&M. Okay, got her this denim jacket from, uh, I believe Target. Uh, this is Disney's Encanto uh, themed. So it's just a cute basic denim jacket. And then on the back here, we have a cute Encanto print. Very florally, very colorful, almost looks like graffiti. Really cute, y'all. This is gonna be so cute on her with the little sleeves rolled up. Can't wait for her to wear this. And then last but not least, from H&M, right? It's got a cute pastel floral print. Super cute, elastic in the waist, so they're gonna stay up. So I love, love, love this. Let me show y'all what I got from a website called Bambini Fashion. I love getting things from Bambini Fashion, you guys. It's an awesome site for the little ones. You know, if you guys like to dabble in designer, especially if you yourself wear designer, it's always adorable to see your little one wearing it right along with you. So we don't shop, you know, designer all the time for Anne, but we do have some select pieces that I think look really good and complicated some of the things that she already has. So let me show you guys what Bambini Fashion gifted us this 
this particular time. And by the way, I was talking about things being affordable and even though this stuff is designer, it is very affordable, especially right now, because they do have a summer sale going on. So you can get a full 50% off the entire website. Basically, everything is on sale. And then if you use my code, which is called Vaughn, you'll get an additional 25% off on top of that. But you gotta download the app because that's where you get most of the savings. Y'all, they just giving this stuff away, okay? So that's all I'm saying, all right? So get over there and check it out, but let me show you what I got. <laughs> and really loves this hoodie, y'all. This is a Givenchy um, hoodie. Y'all, the quality is what be getting me, okay? It's a really heavy kind of material, and I love this because when I put a hoodie on my daughter, I want her to be warm in that hoodie. I don't want to just put it on just for show. So I do want it to be a heavy hoodie. This one is so, so cute. It's a solid, slick black color, right? It's not none of that faded black. And uh, you got the Givenchy on there in the colorful lettering. So, so cute. It's got the zip up. You got the nice heavy hood here with the seams going around. So this is super, super cute. Next, I got her some sneakers from Bambini Fashion. And these are our Balenciaga. Ah, so cute, y'all. You know I have a pair of Balenciaga sneakers. Mine are the triple S though. So these are different. These are the ones that look like socks, right? The ones that you see a lot of adults wearing. The thing I would say about these, y'all, um, is that Anne kept these on, okay? Um, because of the kind of fitted um, mouth of the shoe here, it's kind of really taut onto her ankle and she keeps these on longer than any other sneakers that we have. I really love how sleek these look. They've got the little Balenciaga um, logo right there. Very understated, but when you see them, you know what they are. The only thing I would say is the downside of these sneakers is that uh, the white soles here get real scuffed real quick, okay? But here's the hack, y'all. I just use my little Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and that gets all of the scuffs off, y'all. Like, they look back brand new, okay? And believe me, they were pretty darn scuffed up. Again, this is not something we do all the time, but when we can, I think it's super adorable, especially if we go on like little fun trips or if we're like dressing up and having um, a fun day out, mommy and daughter, I think it's really cute for her to wear her little designer stuff. And I recommend you guys do the same if you're into it. So definitely check the description box for the link. Okay, that's it for everything I got for Ann recently, okay? You know, I had to share with y'all some stuff I got for Ann. I couldn't just show y'all what I got for me. I gotta also show you what I got for my baby. So um, yeah, definitely check the description box um, for the links. Yeah, let me put this up. Put this stuff away in her closet. If you'll excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. Finally, finally, finally. Okay, y'all. <laughs> the errands are done for the most part. Whatever I didn't get done, it ain't gonna happen, okay? So I picked Anna up. She's downstairs having an afternoon snack. And my mom is downstairs. Anthony's at work. I saw his luggage in the closet, so he packed before he went to work. Y'all, he's going to work tonight. Isn't he crazy? We have an early flight, too, but... Um, I guess there's plenty of time to sleep on the plane. But anywho, taking my trusty um, away luggage set, I probably will only be needing this one piece. We will see. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all what I was wearing on this trip. Um, some old, some new, but I just want to show you guys the new stuff that I got. And I figured since it's pretty much about that time to pack anyway, I would just pack with you guys. So I'm just gonna open my luggage up and just throw stuff in. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to show y'all some new stuff that I got some new finds. Anywho, let's get into some outfits, y'all. So I ordered this cute, cute, cute dress. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this dress um, from a online retailer called Improda. I came across them on Facebook, like I do a bunch of these, you know, clothing retailers for women. And they have some moderately priced stuff. I would say their prices are probably in line with like New York and Company, Express, like those kinds of places. So not expensive, but definitely not cheap. Definitely not fashion over, right? So um, this long maxi, y'all, it goes all the way to the floor. It's very widespread, right? So perfect for um, a breezy summer evening or something. Look at that deep plunge. So you got your whole back out. It has really delicate thin um, straps along the back and it ties in the front and it has like a little keyhole right here underneath the tie. It is just so, so cute. It zips up the back and it's very tapered around the waist. So you definitely have to get your size because there is no giving and stretching and all of that. Super cute, I love the pattern. Just very feminine and girly and dainty. I'll insert pictures where I can um, based on how I wear this stuff. But I love, love, love this. I didn't take the tags and stuff off yet because I wasn't sure. I was still like in try on mode, but I'm definitely gonna be taking this. So in the luggage, it goes. 
Okay, next I was in Nordstrom Rack and I saw this cute cover up. It's very sheer, you can see straight through it. Very cute colors, you guys. Like I just thought this would look so good on my skin tone. Like digital abstract art. This is just so much fun and I thought it would be really nice to cover up like a black bathing suit or a black like bodysuit. I do love wearing my like all in onesie type bodysuits, but I don't like just wearing it as is. I feel like you need a little bit of modesty with that. So this would be perfect to throw on over it. And I do like the texture of it, you guys. It's very crinkly up top and then it gets like, it loses all the crinkles down here. So it's kind of like that ruching to like taper it around your waist. So, so nice. So I will definitely be taking this. Next, I also at Nordstrom Rack got this top. This is a really girly, youthful kind of look. Looks good with denim, right? You could do shorts, you could do jeans. I like how it's gathered at the waist. And then you have like the ties along the shoulder. Just very dainty and like I said, youthful looking. I would probably go with like some ripped jeans and maybe some mules, you know what I mean? It's floral, so it's very girly. So I'm not sure um, about this one. So we will sit this one to the side. Oh, did I get this from Nordstrom Rack? No, I got this from H&M, right. So this is just a cropped, um, roughly kind of top. And I think you could do this off the shoulder or, or you could pull it up. It's some nice denim, you guys. You could also do this with a skirt. It could be a flowy skirt. It could be a fitted denim skirt. It could be a flared fit skirt. This is just so much fun, mostly because of the colors. See, it's kind of mustardy, but brown. It's giving Simba and Mufasa. I just love those tones. Very airy. So this is definitely perfect for Mexico. I will definitely be taking this. This is another really cute one. Okay, now we're moving into some stuff I ordered online from Fashion Nova. So this dress, honestly, let me zip it up so you guys can see the form. I honestly don't know if I will be wearing this. I am not too sure. I love the color though. Look at that gold. Look at all of the little cutout detail. So these are all like little holes, but there's of course a lining on the other side so you can't see straight through it, but you do have this little peak here right below the bust. And it's super cute, y'all. Like it looks good on my skin tone and stuff. I'm just not too sure about the fit because this is a small and it doesn't give. And uh, sometimes with my curves, you know, smalls don't be getting it for me. So when I tried this on, I wasn't convinced, but we will see, we'll see. I really like it though, it's super cute. Nice little spaghetti straps, you know? Okay, so I may or may not wear that one. I did get another bathing suit because this one was a little bit irresistible. I'm just all for the black bathing suits, y'all, because black slims you down and I just love what it does for like, brown skin. So yeah, as you can see, I shop a lot for my skin tone. I take it into consideration a lot because um, some stuff is really, really flattering and some stuff is not. So anyway, I like this one because of the mesh detail. So you have a little bit in the waist, you have a little bit here along the neckline, just really fun. And it has a deep, deep plunge. So if you are kind of like vol voluminous in the bust area, you have to be careful about that. But I must say though, having it on, it does stay in place pretty well. Just make sure you get your right size and that way it will. But I did see some full figured women wearing this on the website and they looked good. So hopefully I can look as good in it. We will see, so I'm definitely taking this. I wanted to get like a really chill, comfortable dress and um, it came with a little bit of a surprise, right? So here it's just striped with some spaghetti straps, very stretchy material. I love it, y'all. I love really stretchy material because I'm curvy even though I'm small. And I love having that give so I don't feel constricted, right? Especially if I'm forced to order a small because of my small chest. But anyway, the surprise in this dress is the back. You get a cute bow. Look at that bow. So the whole back is kind of out. Well, you do have like that little peak. And then you have that bow, so it's super cute. I just love this so much because of the stretch. This is gonna be very comfortable. So I'm definitely taking this. This will just be for like those mornings, hanging around, um, not necessarily hitting the streets, but just something, almost like loungewear, cute loungewear. And then I got a bikini. I don't even know why I got this. This was so unnecessary. So I had to order a small because I was worried about the chest because it had like the cups. Um, but the bottom is definitely too small for me. I definitely needed a medium bottom. I hate when you can't mix and match. That's what I love about Victoria's Secret because you can get a small top, medium bottom. Like that's what I need. So this is a small bottom. I could get away with it in front of my husband, but I wouldn't want to wear this like if I was going to be around other people's husbands, you know. But still really cute because of the straps on the side, you see how they kind of crisscross. I really like that. I really, really like that in bathing suits when it's a lot of straps. I don't know, it's just really sexy and fun. And then it's kind of the same thing with the bikini top on the side. You get all those straps 
I don't know, it just looks so much fun. So this fits perfectly, right? And you get the cups, so you get a little bit of the lift, which I desperately need. And um, yeah, so super nice. I'll definitely be taking this one. And then another Fashion Nova find is this dress here. Let me zip up the back so y'all can see the shape of it. So here's the top of it. And then there's the bottom. So it's a midi, extremely stretchy y'all. Like this is a small and it fits so nice because it stretches. And I was worried about this dress because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to walk in it because of the fittedness at the bottom, but it has a split in the back. So it gives me the give to be able to walk normal. And I don't know if y'all peeped, but um, it's cut out all the way up and down. So you can't wear any undergarments with this, okay? This is extremely sexy, bodycon. It's got the ribbing detail on there. Just super like, super sexy, right? So I was gonna wear this to Anthony's birthday dinner while we're out in Mexico. And I had showed him this dress online and I was like, do you want me to get this for your birthday dinner? And he was like, yep, I love it. So this is for him, right? Um, this is for him. And I just love this brown, yellow, brown is my favorite color. And this tone of brown, right, is one of my all time favorites. It compliments me so nicely, y'all. Like this is just, mm, I just feel like I am wearing a Hershey Kisses coat of chocolate like I feel like I've just been chocolate dipped so I just I love these um, kind of colors so this is what I'm going to be wearing to the birthday dinner and for his birthday dinner we are planning to go to Macario if you guys are familiar with Tulum and that's where we're going um, they got really good reviews online they consider themselves upscale and all of that so I'm really looking forward to it next I got this other little quick dress just something to throw on you know something comfy um, I love the floral print. It's just all black. It's got a nice, you know, shape to it. And it's super soft material, super stretchy. Like, see that? So I did order the small because of the stretch. But this will be so nice. Again, more cute loungewear. This could even pass for like pajamas. Or you could wear it out too if you really needed to. I would just go with some shapewear if I wear it out. So that's coming. And then last but not least, from uh, Fashion Nova is this set here. Let me zip it up. This is hard to show because it's so flimsy, but it looked really cute online. And um, I think the more voluptuous you are, the, the cuter this will look. If you're super skinny and small, I don't think this is um, the bathing suit set for you. But anyway, here it is. It um, comes up a little bit on the neck and unzips. It looks really sporty when you put it on. But here's the thing, when you wear it, if you have like, a lot of volume up here. It's gonna look even better. I saw the full figured girls on the site wearing these, and they looked so good. That's really why I bought it. I was I was inspired. I'm like, I'm kind of thick. I can I think I can do it. I think I may have to wear like a push up bra underneath this. So um, it's a bathing suit, but it's not something you want to just go like diving in. This is more so like sitting on the pool, taking some pictures, walking on the beach type of thing. So I love 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 this. It's very much so cropped. It comes. Um, just below the bust, maybe about two or three inches below the bust. Super cute. It also has like that designer feel to it. Looks like it could easily be Balmain. And then it comes with a head tie, a bandana, right? So you can tie this around your head, which makes it look even more cute. Let me show y'all a little sample. You know, you could do something like that. Have your ponytail hanging out the back or have your hair coming down. That's so much fun. I also saw a girl with it tied around her neck. So I don't know if I would do that, but I guess that's one way to do it. You could probably also accessorize with this by wearing the scarf, the bottoms, and your own uh, bikini top of choice, which could also be fun, like a black bikini top, if you think the pattern is too much. Um, but anywho, here are the bottoms. And they fit nicely, right? So I ordered a small, and the bottoms actually fit well to be a small, because like I said, I'm usually a medium in bottoms. So this one actually has a lot of give and a lot of stretch and it has a little bit of a cheeky fit. So this is really, really nice. It comes up high, so it's really flattering uh, for your figure. So I really like this one, definitely recommend. So I will be taking this as well. <laughs> so that is pretty much everything that I ordered online, you guys. I do have some other outfits that I'm considering, but I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. Go ahead and start packing and putting all this stuff away. And by the time you guys see this vlog, I will be probably back from Mexico, but I will definitely be sharing our experience in Mexico right after this. So definitely stay tuned till next week to see what we did in Mexico. And I'll look a mess right now. I washed my hair earlier. 
conditioned it. It feels so soft and nice. It needs to be styled. So I look crazy now, but I ain't gonna look crazy in a few hours here. <laughs> so, um, oh, I love this so much. So yeah, you guys, I love you so much. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me through this process. Everything, just hanging out with me on your Sundays, okay? And I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Mwah!